All right, welcome back. We're looking at extended ratios. So extended ratios basically is a way of breaking up a whole thing into smaller parts. And so, okay, so the points O, P, Q, and R all lie on the same line segment in that order, such that the ratio of O, P to P, Q to Q, R is equal to four to five to two, okay? So you wanna think of this like cutting up pizza, all right? So if I have a pizza and I cut it into eight slices, I would slice it twice like this, and then a third time, and then a fourth time. Okay, now I can break up the pizza into chunks. All right, so one person might eat two pieces. And another person might eat one piece. Okay, and another person might eat three pieces. Okay, and the last person, maybe they eat two pieces. Okay, so this pizza was consumed in the ratio uh, one to two to two to three. So somebody had one piece, the pink, then somebody had two, the yellow, another person had two, the orange, and another person had three, the green. Okay, again, uh, so the orange is one of these guys. All right, the, here's the yellow person, okay, here's the green person, all right, and then the pink person, all right, so each one ate a piece of pizza, all right, so that makes an extended ratio, it's parts of a whole. So here we have four to five to two. Now ignore this part over here, all right, so, so for right now, um, we want to ignore this part. Okay, because we're going to get the 11 here, but it's a different 11, all right? So, so what do we got here? So these three things in total make 9 plus 4 plus, or 4 plus 5 plus 2 pieces. So that's 11 parts. So what that means is cut up uh, the segment OR into 11 pieces. You have four of the pieces to OP, five of the pieces to PQ, and two of the pieces to QR. All right, so let's draw this picture. All right, so let's draw a line segment. And we're going to break it up into 11 parts. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so that's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, okay. I'm going to reduce its size here so that it fits. There we go. All right, so this is broken up into 11 parts. And we start with O and then we end with R. So the first bit gets, the first section gets four parts. So four parts go to pink. Okay. And then the second section gets five parts. So five parts, two, three, four, five, go to yellow. And then notice that we have two parts left over. So two parts go to blue, okay? So this is, uh, this here would be point P. So OP is four parts. PQ, all right, is five parts and QR is two parts, okay? But we don't know how big each of these parts are. All right, so what we do is we represent it as a variable. All right, so the part is going to be x. So we call this first chunk 4x parts, and then 5x parts, and then 1x parts. And if we add these up, then it should be equal to the total length. Now that's where this part comes in. Okay. Um, and it just so happens that it's equal to 11. It's a terrible example. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. I can change this problem. Instead of 11, actually, here we go. Instead of 11, let's make it 44. So instead of 11, the number 44. Okay, so the, then this thing is going to be equal to 44. We want to know how big is each part. Sort of like this piece of pizza. How big is this piece of pizza, right? Um, and so we could measure it. Like usually a piece of pizza is like five inches on the sector, uh, the circumference, and then like what? The radius is like eight maybe if it's a large pizza. So same deal. 
how big is each one of these things? How big is this? How big is this? How big is this? Okay. Um, so we can figure that out by adding these things up. 4 plus 5 plus 1, which is 11x. And then dividing it out. So 44. So x is equal to 4 units. So that means each of these bits is 4. So this part's four, this part's four, this part's four, this part's four, and so on, all right? So then how long is each section? Well, this first section is 16. Four times four is 16. How long is PQ? Well, that's gonna be four times five, all right? That's 20 units. And then how long is QR? All right, that's gonna be four times two, all right, which is eight units. There you go. That's extended ratios, okay? That problem took a lot longer than I intended. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, this is angles of a triangle, all right? So we have the angles of a triangle of the ratio of 3 to 10 to 8, okay? Um, and you want to think of this as, again, parts of a whole, okay? So what are the parts here? Um, so we have three parts, ten parts, and five parts. It's a little harder to visualize this one, um, but if we draw a triangle, okay, then each angle gets these parts. So it'll be three parts in the one angle, ten parts in the other angle, and five parts in the last one. We want to know how big are those parts. Okay, well, the angles of a triangle measure 180 degrees, right? So that's 3x plus 5x plus 10x equals 180. So 3 plus 5 plus 10 is 18. If I divide out both sides, I get 10. So x is 10. Now it says, what are the measures of the angles? 10 is x. So each angle then is going to be 3 times 10. So 3 times 10, the first angle will be 30 degrees. All right, it's 10 times 10, we will get 100 degrees. And lastly, 5 times 10, we'll get 50 degrees. So the angles of the triangle are 30, 150. All right, last bit. Perimeter of a rectangle, okay? So we have a rectangle here. Let's draw one. There we go. Oh, that is a square. Okay. And it has sides in the ratio 16 to 9. What does that mean? Okay. It means that um, the top part is 16 parts long and the side part is 9 parts long, but we want to know how big is a part. So we say, okay, the top will be 16x, okay? And the side will be 9x. So, so basically, 16 by 9 is the standard widescreen ratio, okay? So every widescreen thing is 16 by 9, all right? Um, or 16 to 9. So what are the actual values though? They vary, right? Because you can buy a 40 inch 16 uh, widescreen TV, you can buy a 50 inch widescreen TV, you can go to the movies and watch 16 by nine um, on the silver screen, I mean it's huge, right? That's like 30 feet wide. Um, so how do we figure this out, okay? Well, you can take the total perimeter, right? Which is 200 in this case, so that's the entire way around is 200. We can duplicate these sides like so, and then we can set up a problem. So we can go 16x plus 9x, and then we can double that if we want, or you can just write it all out, 16x plus 9x. That's each of the four sides, okay, equals 200. Where these things come from real quick, all right? So this 16x is here, okay? The 9x here, okay? The 16x, here and the 9x here. All right, so 16 plus 9 is 25, and there's two sets of that. So we get 50x equals 200, 
All right, and then x is going to be equal to 4. 50, 200 divided by 50 is 4. So how big is the TV? Or how big are the sides of the TV? The width. All right, the width of this TV is going to be equal to 4 times 16, which is 48. And the height of this TV is 9 times 4, which is 36. So this TV is 48 inches wide and 36 inches tall. All right, there you go.